What's up guys, uh, this is the new Sony a7 III and today we're going to be doing some ISO tests with it. Sony of Canada was kind enough to lend us one of these, so uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. High ISO tests against the a7S II, a7R III, and the Nikon D750. So first off, we're going to do the test in full frame mode on all four cameras. Now keep in mind that the D750 doesn't actually shoot 4K, it only shoots 1080p, so you'll notice a bit of a difference in resolution. And we're starting with ISO 1600, just because uh, anything below that is pretty similar across cameras. So the D750 is super noisy as expected really, it's just kind of there to fill the frame and for reference. So at 32,000 you can kind of see the a7 III seems less noisy than the other two, it actually seems cleaner than the a7S II. Here we skip the R3 because it doesn't go any further than 32,000. And don't mind the banding too much, but focus a little bit on the left side here. You'll see there's actually more noise on the a7S II than the a7 III. Now let's switch to Super 35 mode. So keep in mind the a7S II here is in uh, 1080p because it doesn't record 4K uh, in crop mode. So here at uh, 32,000, we already see a little bit of difference between the uh, a7 III and the R3, which is a little bit noisier, but it seems to be keeping up with the S2, although it might be a slight bit cleaner, hard to tell really. And then as we start pushing it further, 51,200, uh, you're starting to see that it's a bit cleaner on the a7 III. One hundred two thousand four hundred. It seems to be a bit cleaner still on the A7 III. So I hope you're as impressed as I am with this little camera because it seems to have just beat out the A7S II, which until now was the low light king as far as video is concerned. I'm very impressed by this sensor. It really seems like a great all-rounder camera for everything from low light to photography the video, you name it. If you're interested in this camera, definitely click on the link below, it'll help us out if you wanna pre-order it. Stay tuned for more a7 III coverage. We're gonna have a couple of new videos shot with this little baby before we have to give it back to Sony. So we'll see you on the next one, bye-bye.